Good afternoon, everyone. It's so wonderful to be here to share with you about the great work Treehouse is doing, particularly in our graduation success program. Raise your hand if you set a personal or professional goal for yourself at the beginning of this year. Keep your hand raised if you're still working on that goal. <laughs> so as you can see, for many of us, setting personal goals is a fleeting thought at the first of the year. But for Treehouse graduation success students, goal setting is a year-round activity. As all parents know, when kids set their own goals, they become engaged and invested in accomplishing them. At Treehouse, education specialists, or as we like to call them, ed specialists, work one-on-one -on -one with middle and high school students in foster care to set personally meaningful goals. They work together to navigate the path to achieving them while strengthening the student's self-determination and engagement with school. Recently, one of our youth shared with her education specialist that her goal is to maintain a C average and try out for the basketball team. Another student's goal is to be a better role model for his little brothers. For many youth in foster care, no one has ever asked or ever really listened to what they want in their lives. Together with Treehouse, these youth are building a vision of the future that no one can take away from them. You heard Janice describe the long list of people involved in each foster youth's life. Caregivers, social workers, therapists, educators, lawyers, and so on. With so many supporters, you may be wondering why ed specialists are necessary. Why can't state agencies provide foster youth with the support services they need to graduate from high school? The short answer is because they lack the resources, systems coordination, and the expertise needed to meet the unique educational needs of youth in foster care. Child welfare's priorities are ensuring that youth are safe and on the road to a permanent placement. Addressing the educational needs of foster youth is a distant third priority for overburdened social workers. For school systems, it really comes down to the numbers. Youth in foster care represent a mere 1% of most school populations. Schools are not prepared or funded to provide the highly individualized services kids in care need to be successful. Even Washington's investment in K-12 education required by the Washington Supreme Court ruling this year will not provide foster youth with academic support needed to compensate for their school mobility, histories of trauma and school failure, and inconsistent or absent parents. The average youth in foster care moves three times, and when, with each move, they lose four to six months of academic progress. Imagine trying to help your students catch up on more than a year's worth of work while meeting the needs of a classroom full of other students. It's not hard to understand why foster youth fall behind peers on every educational measure. To level the playing field, as specialists serve as a quarterback of a network of support, including social workers, caregivers, teachers, and often an in-school mentor. School success is our top priority. We monitor our students' attendance, behavior, and course performance on a daily basis. When a youth is at risk of getting off track in any of these areas, ed specialists coach them, meeting kids where they are, and connecting them to resources that will get them back on track for high school graduation. Treehouse's Little Wishes program is one of those resources. Through Little Wishes funding, every year 1,100 youth have the opportunity to participate in extracurricular activities such as music lessons, team sports, summer camp, and school activities. These activities help them to positively engage in school and learn how to connect with their peers. The Little Wishes team is also partnering with education specialists to help motivate and congratulate youth for achieving milestones towards their academic goals. One of my favorite recent examples of this was when the promise of a daily bag of Takis potato chips was all it took to motivate a 15-year-old student with poor attendance to start showing up to school every day <laughs> and on time. As we all know, sometimes it's the little things that can make a huge impact. Treehouse's free store, The Warehouse, 
also serves as a resource for youth in foster care. Many youth arrive in foster homes wearing just the clothes on their back or with a garbage bag full of ill-fitting clothes. Thanks to the help of hundreds of volunteers who coordinate donation drives and sort and organize clothing and supplies, more than 1,700 kids receive just under 100,000 items from the warehouse annually, including clothing and supplies for schools that help them fit in and arrive well prepared. As Janice mentioned, we are very excited that the graduation success program is working. Our evaluation is revealing that students who are in the program longer are performing better. Overall, students have improved self-determination, reduced disciplinary suspensions, and improved graduation rates. Frustrated by poor educational outcomes, schools and school districts are embracing the partnership in support of graduation success enthusiastically recognizing that additional supports are needed for these youth to succeed. Thanks to our investors, the Graduation Success Program has grown from serving 350 students in 2012 to more than 500 students in 16 King County School Districts, 146 schools today. So with your support, we will continue to expand and refine the program over the next two years, adding more students with the target of serving all 800 middle and high school age foster youth in King County by 2017. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Thank you for joining us on our journey to help kids that come into the state's care, our community's care, receive the same opportunities that every kid deserves.